in this video we are once again going to be discussing SQL scripts right so we are going to be discussing SQL scripts right and this time we are going to be dealing with DML data manipulation language this is basically also you know these are also scripts that are written in SQL right but this time what we want to do is we want to populate the tables which means what to populate the tables means to add new records to the table right so we want to add new records to the table right and you know as part of DML we are not only going to be adding new records to the table we are also going to be uh, we, we can also delete records de delete existing records from the table and we can modify existing records right like, like you know in the earlier video I told you we can change the address of a person so we can modify existing records we can delete old records and we can add new records so we are going to do all of this using SQL and this part of SQL scripts or this functionality of SQL scripts is called DML data manipulation language alright so what if you want to add a new record right if you want to add a new record Well, if you want to add a new record you have an existing table say your existing table is the band table right and you want to add a new record so you're going to say insert into the band table insert into this table these values now if you remember the sequence of fields if you for example remember that the first value was the first field in the table was the band name then you can say something like you know insert into the table the band name computer kids and if you also remember the second field was the number of members right then you can simply write it like this so in this case what we are basically saying is that when we were inserting values into this table band we knew the field that came first that was the band name so we remembered that and we also remembered that the second field was the number of members so we directly you know just provided the values and you know separated the values using a comma and because the band name is a string value that's why we put quotes around this okay okay for example if you did not remember the order of the field so if you don't remember some sometimes you know that you know if you're confused for example that uh, which field comes first right if you're confused which field comes first then you can do something like this you can actually give the field names first so you can say you know number of members this is because I don't know the order right I don't know which field came first and which came afterwards so I'm just writing the name of both the fields right so I said insert into band for the following fields number of members comma band name the values that I want to insert are computer kids sorry first I have to mention the number of members right because that's the order I've given so I'll say 5 and then enter the band name computer kids now in both of these cases what I am doing is in both of these cases in this case and in this case I'm trying to add a new record but in this case I know the exact order of the fields inside the table so I'm not I don't have any confusions I know the order in which the fields appear I know in the band table the first field is band name and the second field is uh, the number of members but in this case I don't I can't remember the order so what I did was I mentioned the field names so insert into this table band the first field would be the number of members and the second field would be the band name and use these values this value for uh, 
number of members and use this value for band name. So in this case I was not sure of the order that is why also I also mentioned the field names that were going to be used and then I provided the values right. So number of members would be 5 in this case and band name would be the second value which is computer kids. So this time I do not even need to remember the order. Okay, what if I want to update an existing record you know so what if I want to update an existing record. Okay, now in this case I, 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 I need to remember these three fee, these three keywords right I want to update a table let us say I want to update the table um, called called band right I want to update this table called band and I want to set the value of number of members. to 6. Remember when we initially inserted the value we said that the number of members were 5. Let us say you know uh, a new member was added to the band. So, I want to update my existing record what I have done is I said update the table band and set number of members equals to 6 and what is the criteria should I because you know this band table has many entries. So, so, this band table may have many entries right like uh, computer kids right uh, I cannot write the full name. So, computer kids band A band B and this has 5 members this has let us say 7 members this has 2 members. So, I want to tell which one of these records needs to be updated. So, I want to update this record right that is why I need to mention that you have to set the number number of members to 6 and where should you set the number of members to 6 where in the band table the band name is equal to computer kids. So, I have provided specific information I have said that you should update the table band and set the number of members to 6 where in the band table you will find band name and the band name should be computer kids ok. So, wherever the band name computer kids appears in that particular record set the number of members equals 6. Likewise I can also delete an existing record. So, how do I delete an existing record how do I delete an existing record to delete an existing record I will simply say delete from the table band um, and now I simply want to uh, delete a record right. So, I can say delete from the table band where band name equals for example computer kids right. So, what is this going to do this is going to locate the record where the band name is computer kids and it is going to delete that record from the band table ok. What if I want to what if I want to sort my records in an order right ascending or descending order for example. So, I want the band names to appear in ascending order. So, what I am going to do is I am going to use the word select what select does is it selects a certain field. So, select the field band name meaning show the field band name. So, this basically displays this selects and this displays ok. So, this is going to be the output the band name is going to be the output select band name from the table band and order by now I want to order 
uh, by the band name right so the ascending order if i want to do ascending order i am going to say order by band name a s c okay what this is going to do is that it is going to order the output uh, order the result based on the band name and what is it going to show it is going to show the band name for example you know if i was to write something like this if i was to write uh, select band name so band name was going to be output right this was what was going to be shown as a result of the query right so this is going to be our output from the table band order by this time i want to order by the number of members field number of members and i want to say uh, i want to say descending d e s c okay what is this going to do this is going to output the band names and the band names are going to be ordered by the number of members in descending order which means what if a band if a band a has for example if this was if if we had a table where band a had 10 members and band b had 12 members and band c had 6 members our output would look something like this when this query gets executed our output which is going to be shown to us would look like b a c remember the ordering was based on the number of members right so 12 was the highest value 12 came at the top right then was 10 so 10 came in the middle and then was 6 so descending order right b a c and the ordering was done based on the number of members field ok we have one more dml um, uh, command that we should know and that command is called group by that command is called group by for example if we had a band booking table right we is just imagine we have a band booking table right and the band booking table had the band IDs as well as you know uh, the uh, for example the date on which these bands were booked and the band name right and the band name right so for example ba ID 1 booking ID 1 date was 2601 uh, 2017 or 2000 ok 2018 for example and the band name was A ok what I have done is I have quickly uh, completed the table and you can see that there are several records in this table ok so there are 1 2 3 4 and 5 records ok let me write down the query for group I I want to select band name I want this band name to be shown as the output I want this to be shown as the output from the table band booking from the table band booking and I want to say that you know group by band name okay what is this going to do see it is going to show this as the output so only the band names are going to be output the table is band booking and the band name is what we are going to group by what that means is that the band name appears how many times a appears three times instead of showing a three times the output is only going to show a once ok so even though there were three entries it has grouped them up and just said that a is mentioned in the table right a is there in the table right so it's just mentioned that the band name a is there in the table it has grouped it up and also it is going to mention b once only so this is going to be the output even though b appears twice it has been grouped by you know the band names now 
we could have done something like uh, we, we could have done something like let me just quickly modify this ok I have modified the query I have added a where clause which means what I am only going to look for this date right 6 5 2018 and we can see this date appears twice right and I am only going to group by band name where this date appears which means in this case our output is going to be what this b and this c only so we have in this case grouped by the date right and on this date you know we have these two bands right so so that's how uh, this works in this case you know we are only using fields or records where sorry we are only using records where the date is you know 6 5 2018 and then we are going to uh, group up the band names which we have done you know only the band name b and c on this date and finally we are going to be learning about the join condition ok with in join condition we consult more than one table ok so we are going to be writing a query that is based on more than one table and I have just given you a list of tables that we have we have a band table and we have a band booking table and we have a booking table and we have a venue table let me write down the join query first 